Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another summer thrift with me. I've been on a summer thrift with me tear. I'm having so much fun looking for items. Today I'm prepping for my European summer and looking for really classic summer pieces. So almost kind of in the vein of a summer capsule wardrobe. I'm looking for a lot of bottoms because I'm definitely short on shorts, no pun intended. Shorts, skirts. I'm looking for, of course, linens. I'm seeing a lot of silks on Pinterest. Crochets. Shears. I'm really into the shears. I'm loving that. So yeah, I just finished up an acupuncture appointment actually and there's a Goodwill down the street. I haven't been to this Goodwill in a hot minute. So I'm gonna pop in and see what we find and then show you all of my goodies at the end. By the way, if you're new here, hey, I'm Alex. I'm a digital nomad spending my time between LA, Italy, Mexico, and other amazing parts of the world. And I love posting thrifting but also also lifestyle and travel content on this channel so if that sounds interesting to you please hit the subscribe button down below it really helps my channel grow and it helps me bring more videos to you all each and every week and if you're new here you probably don't know that I spend every summer in Italy so I have a few more weeks here in LA but I am slowly collecting items that I want to take with me and style with me in Italy in Europe so let's go see what we can find All right, we are back home. It is the next day and oh my gosh. This is 100% my best summer haul, maybe ever, definitely this year. And I found amazing, amazing items. I'm so excited, I'm so excited to share them with you. Let's jump in. All right, let's keep going with pants because I got a lot of pants. Okay, next I picked up these really cute white trousers. These are originally from A New Day. These are just really classic trousers. These are perfect for Europe, definitely. They've got a, a cuffed uh, leg. They have a little bit of elastic at 
the waistband, which is perfect for those days when you've eaten a lot of bread and pasta. And yeah, they're kind of an off-white color, which I really love with my skin tone. Sometimes stark, stark white looks a little off. It's a little too like bright and cool toned for me. So this is a perfect color. They are pretty lightweight. Like they're not a linen or a cotton, but they're, yeah, they're definitely pretty lightweight. And I will get a ton of wear out of these in Europe for sure. I'm the kind of person who's always been wary of going out wearing white. I saw someone the other day walking down the street in an all white look and I just thought it looked so elegant and I'd really like to try it out. So I'm gonna pair this with something interesting this summer and see how it goes. Uh, these were $6.99. All right, the next pair of pants. These were really fun. I wasn't originally sure if I was gonna get them, but I decided why not? Let's try it out. So these are like a sheer, these are a fun casual flower print pant and they have this sheer panel and then a darker black panel underneath. These are more maybe like springtime pants. I might hold on to these for next season, but I figured while it's still kind of cloudy here in LA for June gloom, they could be a nice transitional piece. These are originally from Berkshire and they're very stretchy. What I appreciate about these is that they have like a sticky layer here, which helps them stay up so they don't fall. This is a very much appreciated detail. I wish a lot of trousers had this because it means you don't have to constantly like if there are no belt loops, you don't have to constantly just be like pulling up your pants. So yeah, these are a fun piece to play with as a transitional spring to summer piece and definitely excited to rock these next spring as well. And these were $9.99. These next shorts, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I fit on these. These are new with tags, linen shorts, like a linen knit short from Mango. I cannot believe it, like, I'm not kidding. New with tags, y'all. These are, yeah, they say linen. They must be blended with something else. I mean, these are so beautiful and elegant. This is definitely a work from home piece, but I actually needed some casual shorts to work from home in because right now I just have like sweats and joggers, but it's getting a little warm for pants. So these are perfect. Like such a beautiful oatmeal color with the drawstring, completely brand new. I love these. And these were $9.99. It's not every day that you find a new tags mango piece. So these the thrifting gods were definitely blessing me this day. All right, I wasn't kidding when I said I got a lot of bottoms. So next, I picked up this really, really cute cream colored mini skirt. Mini skirts are all the rage right now, very like Y2K and originally from Zara. I thought this was a great piece because it is more of a tailored skirt that will go really well in Europe. They don't do a lot of like, in Europe it's much more like tailored classic look, which I like to mimic when I'm out there versus like the cut off, you know, denim jeans, things like that. So I thought this was a really nice, elegant, classic piece. And my neighbor's poodle is working. <laughs> and it has this like cheeky little mini slit here, which adds a really nice touch. So yeah, perfect little piece to pair with a tank top and some sandals for, you know, exploring for the day, or I can wear more of a blouse or, you know, a going out top and pair it with some heels for a nighttime look. So very versatile and this was originally $9.99. Next, I found this adorable little, is this a skirt? No, <laughs> it's a skirt. I found this adorable little skirt with an orange pattern. Now, if this doesn't scream Italy, I don't know what does. Like citruses, oranges, and lemons are a very popular symbol of Southern Italy. Oranges specifically for Sicily, which is where I'm headed this summer. And I'm so, so incredibly excited to wear this there. This is just such a cute casual piece, originally from Wild Fable. And it's got the tie, like the wraparound tie front, which I absolutely love. I think it looks super flattering and gives you a lot of control in terms of really making 
making it um, tailored to your body. So I absolutely love this little skirt. We'll be wearing it all over Southern Italy. Fitted, they're more of like a pajama style. Probably the piece de resistance. I'm sorry for offending any French speakers out there. The most exciting thing that I found, let me tell you all, I am in my green era, like all the way, <laughs> are these lime green ribbed pants. I mean, are we joking? Like I actually already wore them. I wore them this morning to brunch with some girlfriends. And when I told them I thrifted these, they were like, what? Why would anyone give up these pants? I also had the same question. Why would anyone give up these pants? I don't know. These are from Nasty Gal originally. And tragically at brunch, I sat in food. Like I, I sat on something. So that's why they're a little wet here. I just spot cleaned, but, but you'll see me trying them on here in this video. And then I got one more dress. This is kind of a wild card dress. So I am going to a wedding in a few weeks and I've been looking for something to wear to that wedding. Last year I thrifted a black bodycon dress that I really loved and I ended up wearing that to the wedding in Mexico that I vlogged and it was a hit. Everyone really liked the dress. I got a lot of compliments on it and I thrifted it for just a few bucks, which is awesome. And so I was kind of looking for something similar. I found this kind of milk chocolate or yeah, I found this milk chocolate bodycon dress, which is super, super cute. It is originally from, no idea what brand makes this. I have like two hesitations about this dress. Oh, it's a Shein dress. Okay, there you go. I have two hesitations about this dress. Number one, it looks like it could possibly be a little bit see-through. So we'll have to test that. And number two, it might be a little bit too small for me. So I'm gonna try it on, but not holding my breath would be interesting maybe to wear to a wedding, but I think I'm actually gonna do a separate thrift with me that's all like wedding season thrift with me. Leave me a comment down below if that sounds fun, if you'd like to see that, because yeah, I need something to wear and it's coming down to the wire here. So I'd love to thrift something. All right, let's keep going with dresses. So I picked up two dresses. This is such a beautiful piece. Like this really screams summer and Europe to me. This is a really beautiful flower print mini dress. Original from Zara. It's got like a tie string strap and it's got a scoop neck and the neckline is this really elegant scoop neck which is so beautiful. It's definitely a very cute mini dress. It is a tad big on me but I think it works like especially with a more casual look. I'm really excited to rock this in Sicily all across Italy. This just feels like the perfect summer Europe dress. It's got these beautiful red and pink flowers or orange and pink flowers. And this is exactly the type of flower dress I was hoping for. I'm not really into flower patterns that have really tiny flowers anymore. Those feel a little dated to me right now, but these like beautiful, almost watercolor-esque flowers, I think are just really, really beautiful, elegant and evoke summer to me. So I'm very, very pleased with this dress. This was $14.99. All right, the next two pieces are are super random. This though, like when I see silk, I can't pass it up. I truly can't. And oh my goodness, this is a 100% silk tiger print blouse. I mean, get out of town. This is so much fun. I can't believe it. I kind of told myself I wasn't gonna get any more like oversized silk blouses because I don't know, I've been doing a lot of like tie at the waist looks and I don't really love that. But on Pinterest, I've seen a lot lot of like oversized blouses with shorts looks for summer. And I think I just need to play around with the styling and like do more of a crisscross styling. So I'm gonna try and do that. This is just such a fun print. Like, are you kidding me? I could not pass this up, especially since it's 100% silk. Like you don't find that at the thrift store every day, maybe a vintage shop, but this was only $14.99 and just such a fun piece. It's originally from a brand called Stunt. 
and yeah i'm gonna try it out i also thought about potentially pairing this with like wearing this open with more of crop top or like a bralette so that could be an interesting look i think anyway i'm gonna play around see how i can incorporate this into a really fun look and the last top i got this was like sitting at the front and i was just like no way this is here no one's picked it up like it just seemed crazy and i just snagged it i have actually been looking for more graphic tees because i see that look around here a lot in LA graphic tees with like shorts or biker shorts and it's just like a really great like run out of the house look with some Birkenstocks and like a crossbody bag definitely a good errand look this is a Lakers t-shirt and not just any Lakers t-shirt a world champions Lakers t-shirt like come on you don't see these every day I feel like I've said that a lot anyway this is just a really fun piece as an LA girl born and raised like you gotta have some Lakers gear and I actually don't have any Lakers gear so this is a really uh great find I gotta look up what this runs for because yeah I feel like this particular world champions edition of a t-shirt must be kind of special I mean I don't know that it's anything like super official I don't think it's like made by the NBA but hey it's still a lot of fun it's a fun yellow color for summer and a great oversized graphic tee again for running errands for lounging around and this was $9.99 so this is an awesome find. Go Lakers. Super excited for this. And the last piece that I found is actually a bag. I picked up this very cute, classic white baguette bag. And if you've been watching my summer through with me, you know that I've been looking for a baguette bag. I picked up more of an oversized baguette bag, a black one a few videos ago that was definitely overpriced for the thrift store. But I have been looking for a white colored one. And here she is. Perfect. Like this is probably Shein. I don't care. It's great. I actually do really like this material. I've had a few white bags in the past and they quickly get very dirty. And if it's a type of material that's difficult to clean, like a suede or a leather, you're just SOL. This more like faux leather material is great because you can wipe it down. You can even like clean it with soap and water and it will stay clean. So really excited about this and yeah, very classic. She was $7.99, so no complaints here. Perfect little summer bag. Next, I picked up this very sweet green flower print dress. This is originally from a brand called Gieron. I really love this style of dress with the like the really fitted bodice and of course the kind of like scoop neck vintage neckline is very very cute very flattering another dress that's perfect for Europe and it's another kind of mini style dress the buttons going down the front super classic just an overall like very beautiful perfect summertime dress I've been very much into the mini dresses this season. I have a few from last season that I thrifted as well, uh, but I'm planning on bringing all these into Europe as I keep saying. Anyway, so, so cute. This one, I was a little nervous, wouldn't fit me, but I sneakily tried it on over my clothes at the thrift store and it did seem to button up over my boobs, which is great because that doesn't always happen. So I think, yeah, I think this is a really cute find. And this was $8.99. This is pretty random. This is actually duster. So I have been looking for like a lightweight layer to throw on top of my summer looks. Here in LA, it's been a colder year. And in June, we have what we call June gloom. So it's not particularly hot, especially here on the coast of LA. So I needed a layer that wasn't like a denim jacket to wear out at night. And I found this great camel colored duster. This is originally from Forever 21. It's got the tie waist and yeah, it's just like a perfect, like very simple layer. I have like a coat version of this, which is obviously too hot for the season. So finding something like this, that's very lightweight. I mean, it's not linen, but it's got that kind of look and feel almost. Perfect for this transitional weather and I plan on wearing this out quite a bit. And this was 
Okay, update. I'm trying on the dress and it's cute. It's really cute, but like, is this weird issue where one strap is a lot longer than the other, which is probably why someone donated it. I'm wondering if I can just like hand stitch this a little tighter, if it'll work. So anyway, I'm gonna go, I need to go ask Pietro, see, <laughs> get a second opinion here, but it is really cute. Okay, I threw on a belt. I have this black belt. Maybe a brown belt would be a little better. I have a Western brown belt, but I need like more of a classic brown belt than brown belt. I have a Western brown belt, but not like a thinner classic one. I'm on the fence, guys. Help me out, comment below. <laughs> All right, that is everything for the haul. Thank you so much if you're still with me. Thank you so much for watching. This was honestly an amazing summer haul. I can't can't wait to go out and style these pieces. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you're not already to see how I style these out in the wild, to see how I wear them in Europe and across all my travels this summer. Also, shout out to Lemonade. I'm officially on Lemonade and loving it, having so much fun there. So if you're on Lemonade, give me a follow there as well. Thank you so much for watching. I post new videos every single Wednesday. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video if you want more thrifting content. And until next week, bye.